Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now, we are going to focus on senior pets. November is National Senior Pets Adoption Month, and senior pets only get adopted about 25% of the time, whereas younger pets get adopted around 60%. So there's a big difference in these rates, and we want to make sure to change that. Michael Schneider is here with us today. Michael, how are you doing? Hi, Christine. Thanks for having me. I'm doing great. So why do you think there's such a difference in adoption rates compared to the younger pets and the older senior pets? I think there's such a difference because everybody, when they go to the shelter, they want to adopt a puppy or a kitten, but there are, are tremendous uh, benefits of adopting senior pets. Just the simple fact that they are already potty trained and you know their behavior and their medical history. So unfortunately, they often get overlooked, but they are are great animals to, to have. And tell us more about your organization, Pilots to the Rescue, and how you're helping with this problem. Sure, so Pilots to the Rescue was started back in 2015. I combined my love of aviation and rescuing animals. And we're a public benefit 501c3 organization. And we work with hundreds of pilots across the country to relocate at-risk animals. These are largely, uh, overcrowded shelters. Um, so using aviation as a resource is a great way to get them out there to avoid uh, euthanizing them. So um, in the month of November, Adopt Us in Your Pet Month, we've partnered with Stella and Chewies to uh, relocate or transport these senior pets so they have a better chance of being adopted. And tell us more about that. How did you decide to create this partnership with Stella and Chewies for National Adopt a Senior Pet Month and what does it entail? Well, when I heard about Marie Moody, who's the founder of Stella and Chewies, and they, they're a uh, premium pet food company, um, she helped her own pets by through better nutrition, and that really resonated with me. And uh, they reached out to us because they have a journey home fund. They've already helped 650 senior animals and donated 1.5 million meals. So we're helping to relocate or transport these senior pets, and Stella and Chewy is uh, reimbursing in the month of November, reimbursing anybody who adopts a senior dog or cat in the United States or Canada, they're reimbursing the adoption fees and offering a $40 voucher towards their pet food products. So the combination of partnership is really powerful in helping create awareness about the, the problem we have with senior pets and increasing their chance of getting adopted. It's an excellent partnership. And I'm curious, Michael, what made you decide to become a pilot and how does it feel to be able to combine your career with your passion to help senior pets? That's a great question. Uh, so actually my first uh, experience with these small propeller planes was skydiving and I had never uh, been in a, such a small plane. And it was really cool to see the single pilot and all the instrumentation. And I threw, after about three or four skydives, I started asking questions of the pilot and they recommended that I take a discovery flight, which is, you know, there are thousands of airports across the country. You can go and you can rent a little plane with an instructor and go up and experience the, the, um, the, the amazing feeling of flying a plane. So I was hooked and the rest was history. Um, so that was my first experience with flying. And, and um, this doesn't feel like work to me. Uh, it's really, truly my passion and uh, I love doing it. And being able to give back is a great sense of fulfillment and helping all these animals and, and to see the families adopt them and all the joy that, that they, they, they get when they do that is that's payment in, in itself for this work that I do. You mentioned your passion and your love for senior pets, but many people hesitate in adopting senior pets. They're worried about medical bills or about lifespan, all these things. So what would you say based on your experiences to people who have these questions and concerns when thinking about adopting a senior pet? Yeah, I wouldn't be so concerned about it. I mean, a senior pet could be five and up. So they, they have plenty of longevity um, depending on the breed and the size. Um, and there's just less of an unknown. So, you know, all those issues that you deal with with puppies when, or kittens when you first get them home, whether they're chewing up your shoes or eating your purse or making on your carpet, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And they, they generally will just acclimate better to your family. But if you have any questions or concerns about um, adopting a senior pet, I think your local shelter would be more than equipped to answer any questions that you have. And where can we get more information about this partnership? To get more information, uh, you can go to StellaAndChewies.com slash adopt. 
Well, thank you so much, Michael Schneider, for joining us today. This important discussion, encouraging individuals to adopt senior pets during November or any month of the year, but November actually is National Senior Pet Adoption Month. So you can head to Stella and Chewy and find out more information. And I really like Michael's recommendation that if you're concerned about adopting a senior pet, you can reach out to one of our local shelters. Nuzzles & Co. is one. We have many more. Pause for Life right here locally and get your questions answered. We'll be back with more here on Mountain Connections right after this.